Hello and welcome again to Adventures in Pop-Ups. This is the place you come for campsite reviews, tips, tricks, hacks, and mods to make your camping adventures more fun and more safe. Today, yes you guessed it, we are talking about the bear spray and camping in bear country. Wait, you can't camp in bear country with a pop-up, can you? Yeah, you can. Oh yes, you can. You can pop-up camp, you can tent camp, but... You might want to make some extra precautions. Absolutely not. Mine. And if you don't, you might get a fine. <laughs> yep. So follow the rules and be safe. So let's talk about camping in bear country. Um, I, not going to lie, I was nervous. I was reading all the posts on Facebook and checking out websites, what to do if you see a bear. And she was a worry ward. I <laughs> was not a worry ward, but I was slightly paranoid. I've heard a lot of horror stories. Feel free to drop in the comments your bear stories, experiences, all of that. Because Rumors you've heard. So we camped in Custer, Yellowstone, Tetons and Rockies. All of them have been known to be different levels of bear country. Bears are not predators of us. They're not like seeking to s destroy human life. They're scared of us. They just want our food. They like our cheeseburgers. They have really good noses. Really Bears good noses. can smell human food, they say, up to a mile away. I think it's even more. Yeah. It, it could be more. But so that's why it's important. Yes, you need to be vigilant. Yes, you need to be safe. What does that even mean? Well, for starters, keep your food locked up. Um, use your cool. Don't just use your cooler. But where are you going to keep your cooler? Um, I was under the impression that everybody got a bear box, or you might have to share one with your neighbor. At multiple places at Custer, there wasn't. There were not bear boxes. At what was next? At the Tetons, there was like one bear box for the entire loop. So, but they said, um, there have been bears before. It's, in, it's very rare. You're just fine keeping your coolers and stuff in your car. And by stuff, I do mean anything scented. Um, you're not supposed to have toothpaste, deodorant. I just bagged up our toiletries and threw them in the truck. And then when it was time to brush teeth, we grabbed our toothbrushes. Yeah, they said things in the vehicle should be okay. Um, but I've heard other stories. Yeah, about... we've heard stories about bears breaking so in to I get chapstick. So I think some places, some places are worse than others. But, Absolutely. Um, Yellowstone was pretty... And, and if you go to the campsite, they're going to tell you, you know, yes. yeah, we saw one walk through one time three years ago, you know, or... We've got them through once a month or you know what I mean? Like, so occasionally they'll walk through and if something's out, they're going to eat it, you know? So, and then yeah. that's going to cause problems because once a bear starts eating people food, it doesn't want to stop. Yes. So then he comes back and then you have to kill the bear and put them down. And nobody wants to kill the bears. We want to see the bears. We don't want right. to kill them. So when we checked into the Rockies, they did tell us there was a bear sighted here last week. So that kind of made me a little nervous. I was like, okay, good to know. We'll be extra vigilant. Well, I did ask another tent camper nearby. I said, hey, what's the deal with the bear? Do you know? And he said, I do know. It was eight days ago, and he literally walked through the campsite. He did nothing. He didn't bother anyone. There were no issues. So just, that made me feel just better. Just a peaceful stroll through the campsite. Just, just hanging out. Going down to the lake for a drink, you know. Make sure nobody left the cheeseburgers out. No big deal. Just walking by. So, yes, you need to be careful. Yes, you need to keep a clean campsite. Clean up your messes, obviously, now more than ever when you know that you're in bear country. And if you leave your cooler out, if you leave your Blackstone out, or any other food smell type of items, don't be surprised if you come back to your camper and it's gone and you have a friendly little note from the ranger saying, we put your stuff at XYZ location and here's your ticket you will get fined. So it's for good reason. We all need to do better, right? We did not get fined, let me just say that. Learn, learn the rules and follow the rules. Learn the rules, follow the rules. So another thing to know, since bears are scared of people, if you're hiking, make some noise. Now, we were hiking with 14 people, so that really wasn't a problem. 10 of them were children. I wasn't really worried about it. But if you're hiking alone, especially in the backcountry, 
just have your keys on your pocket or play a radio or whatever. Make just make a little noise. noise. Yeah. Because they don't want to come bother you. They will hear you first and move on. So if you're approached by a bear, say hi to the bear. Tell them to stay back. You know, make yourself look bigger. Don't run. Maybe back away slowly. And hopefully you remembered your bear spray. Invest we, in some personal protection equipment, some PPE. It, it is like mace on steroids, that's all it is. It's got a, a farther range, so yes. it'll blow out to like 30 feet or something. So yeah, uh, it's just going to make them not want to come too close if you start to feel uncomfortable. I think it was his sister was saying that one of the things they read about bears is that when you have the bear spray, your chances of survival or whatever you want to call it are well over 90% because you're able to attack the bear with something like pepper spray. They don't like it. They don't like it. You get away and they're they're not messing with you anymore. Don't be scared of bear country. Go out there and make some memories. Just know what you're doing and be vigilant. It is a very common myth that you cannot tent or pop-up camp in Yellowstone or in bear country. And it's simply not true. From what I've understood, there are two places that exist that say no pop-up campers and no tents of any kind and that does include hybrids by the way if you do find a place that's no it's no tent no canvas no pop-ups um, but they're few and far between so don't let that scare you from owning a pop-up camper don't let that scare you from going out there and experiencing god's country yeah don't let that salesman scare you either and try and upsell you on some big fancy fifth right. wheel when, you know, you could have a nice high wall pop-up camper and be just fine. And let me tell you, if a bear smells food and he wants it in your camper, it doesn't matter if you have tent or aluminum or whatever. He can get your door open. He could open that tin can just fine. Yeah, the, the log cabins in Alaska, they board them up really good and the bears still get in. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Happy camping. Happy camping.